Good morning everybody and welcome back to my YouTube. I am so sorry that it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, it's just been such a hectic few weeks and I really haven't had time so I'm excited to pick the camera back up. Today I'm going to be doing a kitchen deep clean and I thought I could take you along with me. So grab yourself a cuppa and sit back and enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, this is a little bit of a hack that I've seen in if you pop a dishwasher tablet and then pour boiling water over it, it'll soak um, soak all of the gunk and horrible buildup of gross stuff that you get in your oven trays. Um, so yeah, I've started off doing that and just letting them soak. I'm finding any glassware that is filthy and sticking that through the dishwasher now. Um, I like to do this probably once a week where I just kind of hunt for bits that need a good old clean. And first up is the ovens. Now, I absolutely love having two ovens. The worst part about it is cleaning them. Um, they, I do tend to use Oven Pride normally, which makes it super easy, but I hadn't been to the shop today and I really needed to get them done because I'd stupidly put a, something plastic in and it had obviously melted. Um, so yeah, that's me being very stupid. But anyway, so I'm starting off with the Dishmatic, just with fairy liquid in that. And that's actually really good at getting rid of like stubborn grease and stains. And then I'm just wiping over with, um, like an old rag here. And onto oven number two, doing exactly the same. So Dishmatic, giving everything a good old scrub. Um, and even the sides, the bottom, the glass oven, um, what's it called? Glass oven panel. Um, so this is just like the first thing that I'll do in an oven clean. My arm was aching after this clean, let me tell you. I wish it was as quick as this video. This, this kitchen clean took me about two and a half hours and nobody even noticed when they got home from school and work. So don't know why we bother ladies, but we do. I'm using an old toothbrush here to go in the this bit here where we get such a build up. I mean, look at that, that is absolutely vile. And in the actual rubber bits of the oven as well, we tend to get a bit of a build up. Like I said, I do normally use Oven Pride, which is really good. Um, and I think I will probably do that again because it's not completely sparkling clean, but uh, it's much harder to do it all manually. So I'm going over now with a baby wipe and just look at all of the rubbish, all of the gunk and grease that comes out here. Same for oven number two. My arm was fully aching after this. <laughs> this isn't even the worst bit. Next up, I've got the Fabulosa um, anti-vac spray. I'm just giving it a quick spray with a nice little clean cloth here, spraying the glass, the inside of the oven. Um, and then I'm gonna follow that up with the white vinegar spray, which I'm using in place of window cleaner at the moment, just because I haven't got any. I prefer the smell of window cleaner. The vinegar spray does smell quite vinegary. Um, but it actually works really, really well, especially on stainless steel. So I'm going to go around the outside of the ovens here as well. Um, and the cloth that I'm using is a special glass cloth and it leaves everything kind of just streak free. Because there's nothing worse than spending ages cleaning and then it's just streaky. So I'm going around the outside of both the ovens here with that. And I'm just going to spray again. We've got handleless cupboards, which look really cool. Um, but all of the rubbish drops down into them, especially from the ovens. So I'm just going over these. I am going to wipe all the cupboards that obviously you'll see in a minute 
um, but I was starting off with the ovens, getting the worst job out of the way, so there we go. Now, the worst bit of the oven clean, here we go. Look at all of that just pouring out, that is horrible. <laughs> um, so again, I'm starting with the dishmatic. This is quite a laborious task. Um, so I turned the dishmatic round and I scraped off any grease. Now these haven't been done for a good couple of months, which is quite a while for me. I like to keep on top of it um, in general, but there are just so many jobs to do in the house all the time that you just can't keep on top of everything. Um, so yeah, it's been a little while since I've done them. So I'm starting by scraping off the grease. I keep rinsing it out and then I'm going in with the dishmatic and just giving it a really, really good scrub. Pouring a little bit more elbow grease fairy liquid in here and going in again, giving it another good scrub. This took me about, I think about half an hour just to do these trays. I mean, they really are, it, it is the worst bit of cleaning. I would definitely advise Oven Pride <laughs> if any of you are doing oven clean, because it just takes out so much of the hard work. I should have just gone to the shop. <laughs> But I'd started, so I'm going to carry on. And sometimes it's quite satisfying to do it yourself. So here we go. Next up is the Scrub Daddy. I'm bringing in the guns here. So the Scrub Daddies with the, the hard side are brilliant at, at getting out kind of deep stains. Um, so I'm just going in here with, again, fairy liquid and a Scrub Daddy and just scrub, scrub, scrubbing. got that I use in a second is a magic eraser. Now I've been using this on lots of different appliances. I've been using it on our coffee machine, our kettle, and it's fantastic. You, I don't, if you haven't had them before, you need to try them. Literally, it's like a sponge, you wet it, and then you just wipe marks away. And the magic eraser actually worked really well at getting some of the stubborn um, stains off. So it's, it's really good. I would recommend it for things like a toaster um, where you know you get like the kind of brown marks on the stainless steel bit, it just wipes them away. So I'm just giving that a wipe now with another old cloth. And I did do that for both of the trays obviously but I thought that would be a bit boring for you to watch both of those so that's both of those done now and I'm just all of the gunk was in the sink so it needed as you can see the dismatic was really dirty so everything needed a good clean so I give give the sink a good clean with the dishmatic with the anti wax spray and then I did pop some sink and blocker down it as well some fabulosa sink and blocker just to kind of get rid of any grease that might be stuck down the pipes from that clean we've got wooden worktops which are an absolute nightmare you can see where they get wet and they look dirty eventually I will be changing these in our old kitchen we had quartz and I really miss that um, but I do actually plan to knock our kitchen through into our dining room, so that's not something that's going to happen for a while. Here's the sink and un un drain unblocker. Fabuloso, it's super cheap, it's really good. You just pull that round, leave it for like 15 minutes and then rinse it off. It is very strong though, so be careful you don't get any stuck in your hands. Now it's time to descale our kettle. Look at the lime scale on that. We live in a really hard water area. Um, so I have to do this pretty often, once a week. Um, I'll do that. So here's my descaler tablet. Usually I use a sachet, but I didn't have any in. So um, the tablet's fine. You pop it in, you fill it with cold water, and then you just leave it for 45 minutes and, and drain it. And the lime scale will be gone. Here's 
is the magic eraser I was talking about. So I've wet that and then I just go around the outside of our kettle and it makes everything so clean, especially the stainless steel and the glass on the kettle. So it's a really, really useful hack. You can use it on all of your appliances. A bit of white vinegar spray to finish it off, to leave it nice and shiny. So the water's still inside here at the moment. I'm leaving it to soak and I'm just cleaning the outside of the kettle. And I'm just wiping the kettle area. As I say, with the wooden surfaces, um, it can get a bit mucky around here. So I'm just lifting everything up, giving it a good old spray with the Fabulosa spray, wiping the kitchen tap, just moving along all of the worktops. Just moving my way around the kitchen, doing all of the worktops, moving all of my accessories out of the way and just giving everything a good old wipe. I did recently touch up the paint in the kitchen um, where everything's white we just get so many marks and um, so that was my job last week to just touch up the paint and now the wipe down of the cupboards so I've said on here before we've got white matte handleless cupboards which look gorgeous they're really high maintenance um, I do this at least once a week um, where I'll wipe the outsides of the cupboards wipe the handles wipe the insides of the doors and kind of move everything inside the cupboards and just wipe underneath we do have everything quite neatly organized inside the cupboards we have lots of glassware and um, jars and bits to keep everything in so it keeps it easier to keep it tidy and organized and then you just lift up and just wipe underneath um, but it, it is quite a high maintenance kitchen it, it wasn't a kitchen that we chose it was already in the house um, the house was already built when we um, it is a new build but it was already built um, when we actually bought it so we didn't choose anything and it looks lovely I love how it looks but in terms of keeping it clean it is quite high maintenance My pan cupboard does need a little bit of organising, so I'll leave that for another video. <laughs> um, is there is there a tidy way to keep pans and appliances somewhere? I don't know. If there is, please comment. I would love to know. We have a little shelf here with a few cute little frames on, so I'm just lifting that up, giving everyone a good little dust. I do have a dust magnet, actually, um, but I'd run out of um, the refills, so I'm just giving it a wipe today.
same again, just going inside all the cupboards here. This is our cereal cupboard, a very, very used cupboard in our house. Our whole house is obsessed with cereal, except me. <laughs> um, they're looking a bit low actually, so I probably need to go top those up. Okay, here is the hob. Fantastic to cook on. It's a Neff hob, it's great, but it is a nightmare to keep clean. So in our old house we had an electric one and literally I just used to spray it with glass cleaner, microfiber cloth and it would look brand new every time but this is a pain. So I'm taking off all of the outer hob sections and I've popped those in the dishwasher and then I'm going around with the dishmatic. This is literally the best. The dishmatic I use for everything, windows, bathrooms um, and then obviously after I've used them I just change the head new one on so it keeps it nice and clean. Just wiping that down with one of the old cloths and then I do go over that again with um, either the stainless steel spray from SIF that I've got but I think today I just used um, the white vinegar spray and a microfiber cloth just to make that nice and shiny. I did the back tiles as well. I don't love these tiles, like I say they were in the house as well so eventually we will be changing the kitchen up a little bit a bit of a pain to try and keep clean with the grout as well um, but for now I just do um, just do that with a white vinegar spray or the glass spray pop on a tea light to get the kitchen smelling lovely and then I'm just starting on our island here so we've got all of our utensils in this one so they get loads of crumbs and everything in another little hack that I've got is to get out the stainless steel utensils pop them in the dishwasher with um, a piece of tin foil and it brings them out looking brand new, like super shiny, brand new. Um, so that's a really easy win, very, very easy to do. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe all of these trays down, give them a little wash, wipe the inside of the cupboard, and then just put things back in. looking pretty scruffy today so please excuse the state of me but I had a whole day cleaning so I was not going to be um, putting any makeup on doing my hair or wearing anything nice because I don't know about you but I just get bleach bleach down myself and ruin all my clothes so super comfy cleaning day next just doing the rest of the doors in the island the worktop um, I actually in a minute do sand down this worktop because my husband um, got a stain on it getting something out of the oven recently. Our bar stools were filthy, our kids eat on them every day. We've got three kids and um, they, are, they are messy. <laughs> this isn't the best fabric to clean so I'm just going over this with the Dr Beckman's uh, fabric cleaner it's brilliant I use it on all of our sofas everything is really good um, so I'd highly recommend that and it leaves them looking really nice and new I do the seat, I do the back of the seat and also turn the stool around and do the back quilted section um, because like I say it does get mucky. That brings me joy to see it all looking clean and nice and new.
three stools so I just repeated this for each of the stools and left them to dry and they now look lovely and clean ready to get messy again <laughs> And just the final stool. So next up, this is the stain that I needed to try and get out of our island. Like I said, the kitchen looks beautiful, it's high maintenance, um, although the only good thing is that if you do get a stain on, on an oak island, you can sand it down. So I've been putting off doing this for ages and I thought today was just the perfect chance to just get it all out of the way. So get a little sanding block some sanding paper and just go over in the direction of the wood and um, just sanding down that stain out I didn't do the other I only did the island today um, I really really couldn't face doing the rest of the kitchen as well um, but at least the island now the stain is out and it looks nice and clean again So now that stain's finally out, I'm just going around the rest of the island, giving it a quick clean, quick sand down so that the colour basically is, is all the same. And then when I'm finished, you get the oil and just an old dishcloth and you just rub it in to the island. This really is the focal point in our kitchen. Um, it's where we spend so much of our day in our kitchen. So um, having it look nice and clean and tidy is really important to me. Now I'm just gonna go around. One of the last things that I do is to give the kitchen a good hoover 
Um, our hoover isn't brilliant at the moment. We've got a shark, so if anyone's got any recommendations, please do drop them in the comments below. Um, I do only have a cordless one, so I don't know, am I better off to get a corded one um, and, and have both, keep the cordless as well. Um, another job that I've been putting off doing for a while was cleaning our bifolds. We do have someone come and do the outside of our windows, um, but our kids are just forever playing in the garden, window, um, hands on the window saying, mum, 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 look at this. So they do get loads of little handprints. So I'm going over and I did inside and out. I actually forgot to film outside, um, but just going over with the dishmatic again, told you it was brilliant. A um, bit of fairy liquid and then literally I get my karcher and I just wipe, wipe it all off. Here's the karcher. It's brilliant. I use it for everything. I do this for our bathrooms, our shower screens. Um, we've got full length windows upstairs. We've got safety glass upstairs. So we've actually got a lot of glass to clean in this house. Um, so the karcher is just fantastic. And it does leave it looking streak free, which is perfect. I love there being loads of glass in this house, but it is, um, it is high maintenance to keep on top of. I don't think there's much more satisfying than watching that. <laughs> How nice is it when it starts to look really clean? just getting my washing out now whilst I've been doing all of this I've managed to get two loads of washing done so that's another job that I can just tick off the list and the final part of the kitchen clean is just to get my flash mop this is brilliant it's so easy give it the floor a quick clean and there we have one lovely clean kitchen ready for everybody to come home and get mucky again <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you again soon in another video. I've got one coming up, a downstairs toilet reveal, so see you soon.